Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love reading. It will be from March to April 2021 for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading Virgo and pull your overarching energy in terms of love, romance, relationships for March to April 2021. Okay, so what do we have for Virgo please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Virgos. What is the overarching energy for Virgo? Thank you. Overarching energy for Virgo. Knight of Cups. Always a nice energy in terms of love, romance, relationships. So let's pull some cards, Virgo, and see what we get for you. Message for Virgo, please. Angel Spirits Guides. In love, romance, relationships. March to April 2021. What is the message for Virgo, please? Message for Virgo. Message for Virgo, please. Thank you. Okay. Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles is the advice from Spirit. And the Two of Cups. Wow, Virgo. <laughs> okay, let's clarify, go deep into the message for our lovely Virgos. Thank you. What do we have for Virgo? Thank you. Message for Virgo. Okay, so we have the Tower with the Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles, Virgo, is clarified by the Knight of Cups. And the Two of Cups, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, Virgo, is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups. There's definitely this energy here that I'm getting, Virgo. I mean, it, it feels like a really beautiful reading. I'm going to clarify this tower. Let's clarify this tower. Let's clarify this tower for Virgo. Can we clarify this tower for Virgo, please? Angel Spirits Guides. So we have the Nine of Wands. Okay, Virgo, so it feels in this situation The, the Knight of Cups is, is generally, the Knights bring change um, and the Knight of Cups is somebody who offers love, somebody offering love. In this situation, Virgo, it feels for some of you that there has been something that's happened here, but there is an opportunity to... It feels like move to the either the next level of a relationship or overcome some kind of challenge and just move on from it. Um, I'm going to clarify this Knight of Cups. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups for Virgo. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups for Virgo. Yeah, um... Ace of Swords, I mean, the Ace of Swords, the Ace is generally the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. I mean, the, there's generally this energy with the Ace of Swords, it's a mental energy, things becoming clear. Things becoming clear, I mean, it can be a card of epiphanies, clarity, mental clarity, 
getting clarity on how you feel about somebody or somebody making their feelings clear. Because there's a kind of expressing energy here, somebody making their feelings clear. We have the Ten of Cups, which is a card of, it's generally a card of blissful relationships, happy ever after. It's the card of perpetual happiness because it's two people who work hard to provide for their family, provide for their home. It's a productive energy, Mars in Pisces, uh, work hard on their relationship and therefore they continually feed that rainbow, the perpetual happiness rainbow. Um, which is also a blessing from the universe, but it's two people who complement each other so well that they achieve their dream, their happiness, their contentment, their fulfillment, their blissful relationship. So in this energy, Virgo, it feels for some of you, something has happened here. The Nine of Wands is an interesting one because the Nine of Wands can be a card of a test of faith where courage is needed to overcome some kind of challenge. It's a test of resilience and it feels like your, your relationship has been tested. Now, the tower can be, I mean, obviously we have a sort of truth here. The tower can be about truth, revelation. It can be some kind of something that has destabilized a relationship. The, the tower is a neutral energy, but with the nine of wands, which generally feels like it's a testing energy, it, it feels in this energy, Virgo, that something has tested your relationship. Um, it, it's been a difficult journey to overcome. It's certainly that nine of wands. It feels like you've come so far on the way in dealing with what this tower represented. I mean, again, that can be truth revelation or something external affecting your relationships, whether it's to do with, I mean, it can be to do with money career. It can be to do with health areas. Um, it can be to do with, you know, different influences, you know, truths coming out, that kind of energy. But with the Nine of Wands, it feels like sometimes this can be an energy if there's just one thing to go, one step to go, and then that tower is finished, it's done. Um, so for some of you, it, it feels like you've, you've, you've worked so hard. It's been a test of faith in terms of your relationship here. But I'm definitely getting the energy of the end is in sight. There may well be one little thing in the next month or two to overcome and then it's done. So it, it feels in this energy here, Virgo, that something has happened here that has tested your relationship. It's either within your relationship or something externally that's affected it. But it feels like it's nearly over, but it has been some kind of, it feels like it's been some kind of challenge. There is some kind of, the Knight of Cups is an offer of, it feels like an offer of love, an expression of love. Um, he is the romantic, he's the romantic of, uh, the most romantic of all the Knights, he's to do with heart energy. Um, and Germany represents change, so charm, seeing the beauty and things again um but it definitely feels like somebody is is making their feelings clear and it's bringing in change and it feels positive change i'm going to clarify this knight of cups it's interesting the two night two knights of cups have come out in the reading which is a Therefore, a significant message from spirit for you, and this is in the advice from spirit. So some kind of offer or expression in terms of love, romance, relationships can be apologies.
Let's clarify this Knight of Cups, please. Okay, I'm just going to shuffle one more time. Okay, let's clarify this Knight of Cups. I mean, what could have happened? Yeah, okay. There's definitely this energy, Virgo. What could have happened is whatever was here, I mean, I, it could have been something that something is nearly over in whatever this tower was. You know, you could have spent time apart even for some of you. Um, but it feels, again, the tower, the nine of wands, something's nearly over. Spirit is saying something is over. There's a completion here. And it feels that somebody is, is offering love. And they want the, the home, the committed relationship, the marriage. It might well be also asking you to move back in if you've moved out. Um... I mean, obviously that won't resonate with everybody, but that's what I'm getting in this reading. Some of you could have, because the tower can actually be the home. It can be the property. And I'm definitely feeling in this energy, something may have, it might well be that there have been changes in the home, physical changes. So some of you may have spent time apart, for example, and maybe you have been working towards you know, getting back on track or seeing if this is something that you want. It feels like there's one, you're, it feels like it's nearly over. This tower energy is nearly over. And there is definitely this offer with the Knight of, of Cups. Um, somebody speaking their feelings, being, you know, being truthful, wanting to bring an end to a situation and step through to a new phase of their life. So it definitely feels in this energy they want to just bring closure to a situation and and move forward. And again, the Ten of Pentacles is a solid home, family, marriage, committed relationship. It, it definitely feels in this energy they want to get back on track. They want to wipe the slate clean, draw a line under it. This tower energy is over. So if it's been within the relationship... It definitely feels like there is an opportunity to get back together, to get back to where you were. And that's what I'm definitely feeling with this Six of Cups, getting back to where you were. It's, it can be a card of revisiting the past, but it can sometimes be a card of the past, um, what you've experienced in the past. You know, it, it feels that they want, it's, it's worth enough to get that back to give it a go you know that kind of energy so for some of you i'm definitely getting this energy virgo of, of definitely getting back on track in a relationship uh, being able to restore stability and solidity to your life now this can also be a money card as well so it might well be for some of you i mean sometimes the knight of cups can be in terms of something that brings you joy and happiness it can be some kind of breakthrough energy finally finding some kind of breakthrough joy and happiness so anybody if, if you've been tested in terms of money career in terms of relationships that can be that energy as well like i said it's either within the relationship or something that might have affected your relationship with the tower but the message here is it definitely feels like you have an opportunity to get back where you were i mean there's a reconnection energy the Six of Cups is also a card of joy. It's a card of the memories are, are good enough to give something a go. Um, so, again, an offer of love. The, the Two of Cups, it feels like some kind of either, it can be a reconciliation energy. It's also re-establishing a bond between two people. And it feels in terms of a long-term relationship. Uh, love, the harmony being restored. Again, putting a difficult situation behind you, the bond is stronger that, that, than that which wanted to break you apart. You know, even this tower, you know, couldn't actually, you know, break you apart in the end. It definitely feels for some of you that there is 
this is the rainbow of blessings, the happy ever after. And even though I feel it's been challenged, you have the opportunity to come through the other side of that now. And there's definitely this kind of restore, finding that happy equilibrium once more, uh, restoring some kind of bond between two people. Um, yeah, it, it just feels like the bond is stronger. So I'm definitely getting this energy of you've been tested, but it's only made you stronger. Yeah. Okay, so final message for Virgo, please. Final message for Virgo. Final message for Virgo, thank you. Final message for Virgo. Yeah, I love that. We have ancestral healing, eagle. Your ancestors are holding space for you to heal the past, yeah. I definitely get some healing energy going on here. I mean, we do have Virgo energy here, which is healing, restored. So I'm definitely getting this energy here. This is also ancestral lines watch, watching over you as well. It's not just your physical family in the physical world, but it's also the fact that you're being watched over by generations of family that's gone before you, your ancestors. So I'm definitely getting this energy here, Virgo, of you're absolutely being watched over, guided, um, I mean, you may, ha you may have stayed with family as well. You know, you may have stayed with family. But it, it feels for some of you, whatever has gone on here, whatever has tested the relationship, the bond is stronger than that which wanted to break you apart. So it feels for some of you, there's healing, there's the coming togetherness, and finally moving on and re-establishing this happy equilibrium. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Virgo. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month or two for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.